Dave Neal, just talk about um, you know, being back and help the celebration to kick off the new era in men, men's basketball. Uh, you know, it's great to be back. I mean, four years playing here for uh, under Coach Williams and uh, the great tradition that he carried on here and the time I had here is absolutely unbelievable. I was actually walking in with Mike Grennan and we were talking about the years that we had here and the, how much fun we had. And it's great to come back. I and mean, they got a great alumni group coming back here, which kind of just shows what Maryland means to these basketball players. And now that we got a new coach in here, Coach Turgeon and his staff, it's just kind of cool to come back and re um, sit back and look back at those memories that we had here and kind of hang out and see everybody say hello. It's kind of weird though seeing new staff and not knowing so many people, but it's good to come here and meet the guys and uh, hopefully they can do a good job carrying the tradition that Coach Williams and all the former players did. Just tell everyone what you're doing now, where you're living, and and what puts money in Dave Neal's pocket. Uh, I'm actually coaching high school basketball. Um, I'm coaching at Bishop O'Connell, which is where I went to high school. I was doing assistant varsity. And then uh, working for my dad's mortgage company during the afternoon, kind of do, just doing odd job stuff. But uh, my main focus is coaching, and hopefully could be somewhere in college next year coaching, coaching basketball. And you just mentioned you walked in with Mike Grinning and who are some of the guys you kind of keep up with and who are some of the guys you want to see for the first time in a long time tonight? Um, obviously I keep up with Gravis, Eric, Landon, all kind of all the guys I uh, played here with. Uh, Mike Grinning just because he lives in my backyard, we kind of hang out all the time. Uh, it's going to be good, I mean, to see Steve Blake, I haven't seen him in a while, Juan Dixon, Byron Mouton, um, Chris Wilcox, who actually I've never really met, but it'll be good to kind of first meet him. Uh, it'll be good to see Steve Francis. I'm hoping Coach Williams comes here and we see Coach Williams. And kind of just, uh, just everybody. It's going to be a good night just to kind of see everybody. And I'm glad to see they finally push it back to Midnight Madness uh, in honor of uh, Coach Rizal. And yeah, talk about Coach Coach Williams. Uh, later this year, they're going to name the court after him, and you know they they picked a good time in the Duke game, which is crazy in here anyway. And when you when you when you think about seeing Gary Williams' name on the court, what, what's that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's just gonna it just shows the passion and love Coach Williams had for this university. I think it's a great honor. I mean, all the hard work. I mean, there was probably nights here Gary slept here just trying to get this Maryland basketball team to where he got it to and just to name the court after him it just shows all the hard work and the dedication that he put in and especially doing it against Duke which is a, obviously a rival of one of ours a team that we love to beat um, would be a great way to kind of tap off or tap off the name of the name of the court by naming the court that night and hopefully beating the Blue Devils. And Mark Turgeon have you got to meet Coach Turgeon yet and what's I your first impression? I haven't met Mark Turgeon yet I've met the staff I met uh, Coach Spinelli, Coach Hall and obviously I know you know, just from when he was still, he was here when, um, not when I was here, but I met him before that. But I haven't missed Coach Turgeon. I've heard great things. So now that I'm coaching high school basketball, I've seen the turf coaches out recruiting and doing a fantastic job recruiting. And I'm excited to meet Coach Turgeon tonight. Okay, thank you.